Lord, I'd like to thank you for today. Would today be a good day, Lord. No rain. Let's understand your word, Lord. Be close to you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We pray for the things in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Um, today we're going to be reading Proverbs chapter 25. Um, I'll start off with two verses and then Brian will read after me. These are also Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The heaven or height, and the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and it shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Uncle. Okay, number five. The cross means the uh, not silver or the alloy. Yeah, okay, that's just the mock material of the counter for. Okay, where are we at? Five. Okay. Verse five and six. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his power shall be established in righteousness. Put, put not forth himself, thyself, in the presence of the king, and the station. Stand not. Have not. And the stand cannot, and stand not in the, the, in the palace of great men. Place of great men. For better it is that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than thou shouldst be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he hath heareth it put thee to shame. In thine infirmary turn not Infamy. Away. Infamy turn not away. Eleven. A word filthy. Fitly. Fitly. Spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. As an earring of gold, an ornament of fine gold, it is so a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. Okay. Thirteen. Slow in the time of harvest, slow the faithful messenger to the to them that send him for the refreshment at the end of the master at the at the soul for the refreshment the soul of them of his master. Whoso beareth himself of a pay the false gift is like 
cloud. It's like clouds and wind without rain. By long forthbearing is a prince persuaded and a, and a soft tongue breaketh the bow. Breaketh. Okay. Sixteen and seventeen. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled wherewith and vomit it. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, and lest he be weary of thee and so hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather and as a vineyard vigor vinegar vinegar upon mare so is that singeth songs to a heavy heart. Twenty one. Yeah, you have to read twenty and twenty one. Brian. Brian. Uh, you're reading twenty and twenty. Thou shalt heal, heap, heap, coals of fire upon his heart, and the Lord shall reward. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman and in a wide house. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat it is not good to eat much honey, so for men to search their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Uh, Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for morning Bible study, Lord. Help us have a good day today. Help the weather to clear up, Lord. Help us to get a lot done, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.